Hey everyone, it's Jeremy Techno, and welcome back to ReZero. Last time a lot of shit went down, but ultimately Subar returned to the castle and got killed by Elsa. And in this episode, I'm assuming his save point got resetted and is now going to have to figure out how to exactly to solve this loop from happening again. So, without further ado, let's move on to the episode. Mmm, okay, so he got resetted right after the first trial then. Yep, first trial. This is where he first found her and she was like freaked out. Damn, it kind of sucks that he always has to restart at this point, actually, because that means he's always going to have to watch Amelia go through this every single time. Young Sue? What kind of a nickname is that? Yeah, there's three of them, right? Yeah, three. Why do I have a feeling Amelia is going to be broken after all this? That's honestly a good idea, but I feel like she should probably do it because it makes you stronger at the end, right? But if she goes crazy, that's not going to exactly be the best. What? But how, how is that possible? Weren't you the one? Yeah. Why does he feel differently now? No, Amelia, he cares about you. You were literally crying and breaking down. I feel like she should go through the trials because ultimately it'll make you like a stronger person. But, you know, it is true. Like, I understand Subaru's point of view that if it's causing her that much anguish, then he should just do it himself because, you know, you only need one of them to complete the three trials. And if Subaru managed to do the first one, then he could probably do this other two. Uh, but then on the other hand, yes, I do agree Amelia should do it, but it's a little annoying that they can't understand his point of view, though. I I, I don't know. I, I don't like the idea of, like, oh, you think, you know, I can't do it and that I'm failing. Like, that's not it, but, you know, writing, you know? Oh, uh, so Rosal's a dick, then. He has something in mind, and he, pr he probably knows something bad's gonna happen if she does it, honestly. That's weird, though. Why in the original timeline did he change his mind then? I don't get it. Yeah, I have no idea how he's gonna beat Elsa. Cause last time they needed uh, Reinhardt to do it, so what the hell is he gonna do now? Oh, it's this dick. Why is- why are their eyes glowing? I know that's like a weird thing to bring up, but like, I don't think that's ever happened before. Is it just the lighting somehow? I had a feeling that Roswell was going to say no, but his reasonings really don't make sense to me. I, I really wonder what he's planning, because he, he's confusing the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, right, because he likes her, so that would probably work. That's funny. <laughs> Damn. I love Ram, actually. She's so sassy. Oh, is she remembering? Yeah. That's interesting. How is she remembering, then? Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if she's gonna believe him. I mean, I guess once she seems Ram that she'll believe, but... Uh, it should be fine. I don't think Elsa's gonna be there two days earlier. Something else might go wrong, but I don't think Elsa's gonna be there. I agree, Subaru. Also, he's probably so happy to see her as well. I hope their relationship is like older sister, younger sister. That'd be really cute. Ooh, is she finally going to see Rem? What's her reaction going to be? Damn, I wanted to see her face. To be honest, that's the reaction I kind of expected. That or freaking out, so. So, was it the witch? Or, uh, yeah, the, like, was it Echidna who teleported him then? Because I don't know who else could have. 10 years, Jesus. 
What? How? How is she here? That's fucked, man. Why Petra? Um... I can't believe they actually got a hit on her. Wow. Wait, did that actually work? I thought it only affected low intelligent beasts. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. I understand her thought process because that is true, but like, that's kind of fucked. Mm, I agree with her saying that, except she would say Subaru, not Roswell. I have a bad feeling about this. I, I feel like Zubaro's gonna die again, to be honest. Also, what? Wait, is she- is she naked? Oh my god, she's naked! Holy shit, she's kinda hot. Damn, she's kinda cool in that form, what the hell? Hmm... What? What is that? What the fuck is that demon spawn from hell? Honestly, that was pretty smart. Good shit, Ram. Also, we're getting a lot of action this episode, aren't we? I really hope nothing bad happens to Petra. I think I actually might cry if she dies. I hope they actually get out. I don't want him to repeat this again, but I have a feeling he is. What is happening? Oh, that is not good. I think Petrus just died. How did that happen? How did he, like, fly through the window like that? What? Oh, no. Don't tell me she died. Yeah. She has to reset it now. You fucking bitch. Oh, someone did send her then. Oh, shit. Wait. Who's Melee? What? What the fuck just happened? Alright, uh, that was a very action-filled episode. So, a lot of things happened. Uh, first off, Elsa did mention that someone hired her? And by the way she talked, I feel like it is Roswell. Because she mentioned it wasn't supposed to t turn out that way. You were supposed to come back, I mean, I I'm assuming two days later, with, oh, and it was supposed to be only you and the two maids. But then you came back two days earlier with Ram as well. I think that was because maybe Roswell timed it that way. Like, it has to be an inside job somehow. So I, I Roswell's the only one I could think of. But then why would he hire Elsa to kill them. I mean, I guess that means he's evil and he has some plan in mind if it is him, but man, that's really fucked. Yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anybody else it can be other than a character we don't know about, but that wouldn't make sense. It has to be an inside person. It has to be. Well, Petra did die uh, along with everybody else and I did tear up slightly, so didn't exactly cry this episode, but tears did form a bit, so there's that. I have no idea how Subaru is going to be able to defeat Elsa. The only thing I could think of is he has to, like, find somebody strong enough to defeat her. Last time it was Reinhardt. I don't know if anybody else is capable of defeating her, though. Unless they kind of all gang up on her, but no, that wouldn't work either, right? I don't know. I can't think of anything that would defeat her. I guess he'll figure something out, but yeah, I have no idea. 
I also don't think Federica's bad. There, there's no way she is. I think it was mis a misunderstanding. I wonder who teleported him. It might have been the witch, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe, maybe, maybe it was Roswell or something. I don't know. Because she seemed genuine. I don't think she knew why he got teleported. So, yeah, I think, I think Federica's pretty good, actually. Other than that, the only thing worth mentioning is that I'm really liking Petra's character. Like, I, I mentioned before that I was really excited to see how her character is, and her relationship with Subaru is really cute. It's very wholesome, and I, I'm really enjoying it. I also like how she's kind of forming a relationship with uh, Federica and Ram. I think it's really cute, so I, I am excited to see more of her as well. But yeah, that was a pretty intense episode, uh, so I guess without further ado, let's move on to the next episode. Damn, she's dead. Wait, what happened to his hands? That is true. Why did she say Subaru specifically? Okay, you shouldn't be saying that. Don't do it in front of her, Subaru. Alright, Beatrice, what's your deal? What, what are you hiding? What is going on? No, I think she did it because she wanted to. For mother? I don't know what is happening. What? what? How'd she get in here? Oh, God, that has to hurt. Jesus. Okay, before we continue, uh, I have a lot of questions. So, from my understanding, I'm pretty sure when Tsubaro was mentioning, like, oh, all those things that you did with me wasn't in the book. I'm pretty sure it wasn't in the book, and she was, she actually did get moved by him. It's like a Sundera going, like, it's not like I like you or anything, Baka, you know, stuff like that. Um, but... Other than that, she mentioned she was doing stuff in accordance to the gospel. Is that actually true? Because that's really interesting to me. So who is Beatrice? Because why would she follow the gospel? Only the witch's cults would do that. I mean, I'm assuming we're going to get answers to that question anyways, but yeah, I really am interested in Beatrice. Her character just became in insanely more interesting to me. Here we go again. Again, it's kind of sucks he has to wake up to that every time, but I guess it can't be helped. Mmm, that is true. It's because he's seen it, like, three times at this point, so... Yeah, he's not acting like he should. Yeah, it is weird that he's kind of different every loop. Like, is he just a very sporadic person, then? Mm, yeah, that is true. How was she able to get past the barrier? Was it the stone? Well, that's not creepy at all. Aw. Yeah, I feel like she can go through it. Especially with Tsubaru's help. That's interesting. Why is that specifically what holds you in there? Why half and half? Is it because of Satella, specifically? Uh, that's not ominous. Oh, God! What the fuck? Why, though? Why tie him up? What the fuck happened? Oh, right. It's like what happened with the Rem earlier in the show. What a loot, man. This is completely different from what happened last time. Well, that's not good. If he can't die, then he can't prevent this loot from happening and everyone else will die. Oh, was he trying to bite his tongue off? Oh, wow, that's hardcore. Jesus. That's fucked, man. I wonder what they think happens. Mmm. Alto knows. Come on, put it together, dude. 
Oh man, he just got bribed. That sucks. Yeah, that's true. Doesn't that mean that as long as he doesn't go back, they should be fine then? Maybe? Hmm, this is a lot like what happened with uh, Battle Geese that one time, huh? <laughs> that's oddly cute, I guess. Yo, if he actually breaks out of those ropes, I'm going to be really impressed. Or kill himself, I guess. That could also work. I really appreciate this directing. This silence is, like, really deafening. <gasps> Oto? What? Three days. My god. Aww. That's cute. Uh, I don't know if that's actually a good thing, Oto. Why is he being a dick about it? Sibaru is really going through something, isn't he? Ah, that was pretty cute, actually. Aw, Ram. You would. You would. I'm so happy to see her, actually. That was a really interesting episode. It kind of felt like not much happened. Like, the only thing that really happened in this episode was that Garfield locked Subaru up in the basement. So, this episode was largely just, I guess, setting something up, probably? The biggest thing I know would probably be Oto. I mean... He really came through this episode. Uh, I guess Subaru now officially has a friend that he could confide in, probably, which is really cute, actually. I'm really proud that he actually has a friend this time. I'll be honest, I didn't expect Oto to be a, like a main character, or at least a character that would do much in the series, but I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm starting to like his character a lot. I feel like their relationship is like very brotherly, though, which is pretty cute. Otherwise, the only other thing to mention would be the fact that Subaru is letting off the witch's smell again, which is the reason why they locked him up. Uh, I didn't exactly expect that to come back again, but it, it makes sense. I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same reason why Rem initially distrusted him back in the first season. I just, I don't know why they locked him up, though. Like, I don't really know what their plan really was. They said that they want Amelia to go through the trial, and I'm assuming they just expected or suspected Subaru to be in the witch's cult and was planning something, but... I don't really see why putting him and trapping him in the basement was the right call. It just doesn't make sense to me. One thing I actually really do appreciate was that when he was tied up down there, uh, it, I really got a sense of like how much time was passing and how like deafening the silence was. I don't know. I really I I like it a lot when shows or or any form of media uh, does stuff like that. Uh, just the atmosphere and everything around it. I really appreciate when it's like accurate. And it really makes you, like, get a sense of any feeling, to be honest. I don't even know if what I just said made sense, but I, the point is, is I really appreciated how they decided to animate it and choreograph it, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I really appreciated it. Ooh, another thing. I can't believe Subaru was gonna, like, bite his tongue. I'm pretty sure that's what was gonna happen, right? Like, he was gonna bite his tongue and, like, probably choke on it to kill himself. That's fucking hardcore, actually. Jesus Christ. Again, I wouldn't be able to do that. But yeah, overall, pretty slow episode, which is fine. I think it's fine to have an episode like this to kind of build up to the next episode. Uh, I would say this episode was mainly probably to kind of build Oto's character, you know, having him be like Subaru's friends and him actually doing something heroic by trying to save him. Uh, and also probably to set up what, what's going to happen with Garfield and that other elf girl. So, yeah. But with that said, let's move on to the next episode. Oh yeah, that bromance. <laughs> bromance. Alright, hopefully he actually gets information out of him this time. Oh, is he staying because he knows he's going to get killed by Elsa if he comes back during that time? And he's just trying to wait it out? Because if so, that's pretty smart. Aww. Yeah, I don't, he doesn't want to be enemies with Beatrice. 
And I don't think sh he should. I don't think she's evil. It tells the true future. What? Oh, wait a minute. So, I remember with Betelgeese, he was mentioning that he would always follow the gospel. And when he first met Betelgeese, he said something like, me meeting you here wasn't in the gospel. So, I guess the gospel is something akin to that, where it could, like, tell you the future, but it's, like, not the correct version. And what Beatrice has is the actual correct version, maybe. Interesting. Also, something I just remembered is, uh, before he left the first time, before he left the sanctuary, uh, didn't Roswell or, or someone mention to ask her the question or something like that? He never did that. I, I wonder... I mean, I'm assuming he will do it eventually, but I wonder what exactly is going to happen when he tells her that, because I feel like we're going to learn more about Beatrice, and I'm really excited to know, because she's a really interesting character to me right now. Oh, wait, it's right there. Oh, okay, never mind. So, it's exactly like I just said. I am that person. What? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Are you, though? I don't know about that. Damn. What the fuck? Was that shade? True, yeah. Letting him go is the best option for him, too. Oh, so he's basically gonna kill him? Well, that sucks. Hmm. I wonder if Garfield knows something about Roswell then. What the fuck? Oh, no, you just pick him up like that? <laughs> Jesus. Uh, what's that? Oh, the villagers? Why is this, like, really sweet? Something about the villagers helping Subaru just warms my heart. I don't know why. Hmm, can you? Can you buy enough time? And they're dead. Cool. Um, is that Garfield? Why is he a giant? That is just absurd. What the fuck? Is he, like, not able to make rational decisions anymore once he turns into that form? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What the fuck, Oto? That's fucked up, man. I did not expect Oto to sacrifice his life for him. Especially since when he first met Oto, Oto killed him. <laughs> What a turn of events. Aww. This is sad. Oh my god. What the fuck, man? Oh, she's hurt. Alright. That is just. That is not right. Um. What? Why is it snowing? I'm pretty sure they're all dead, Subaru. Garfield killed them all. What? Why is there a random ass rabbit here? Um. What? Really? Why is this how he dies? What the fuck is the demonic ass rabbit? Wait, he's like two? Oh. Oh no. Really? Really? That's fucked up. What? Why is this how he dies? What the fuck is happening? 
the, I, I have no words with what just happened right now. Why? I feel like that was like one of the most brutal deaths he's had so far, right? Unless I'm not remembering something. Is that why he's been calm lately, or is, or is it unrelated? Aw, that's kind of cute. What the f- what was that about? <laughs> Jesus. Hmm, that is true. Does she know? Wait, that was an interesting thing to say. He can say it. I'm actually really happy because this is the only, this is like the first person he could say this to. So it'd be good to get this off his chest. Yeah, he, he's been, he wanted to get this off his chest for so long. Yeah, I feel him because he, he literally had to deal with all this all alone this whole time. I know. Aw. Okay. I'm, I'm starting to really like Echidna now. Oh, he's carried a lot of weights. Believe me. All right, uh, I'm surprised I didn't cry there. That was a very emotional episode towards the end there. Uh, but even then, the entire episode was really good. Oh, man, a lot happened in this episode, actually. Uh, the first thing would be the information we learned from Roswell. He mentioned with Beatrice that he has to tell her to ask him the question. And I'm really interested in what that question is going to be. I'm assuming we're just going to get like a whole episode dedicated to Beatrice's development and her backstory, so I'm really interested in that. Otherwise, uh, Garfield turned into this giant fucking monster and killed uh, Oto in the most gruesome fucking way, chopping him in half, as well as uh, all the villagers and Patris, which may be the most sad. So, fuck Garfield right now. And then Subaru gets killed in, like, one of the most brutal fucking ways ever. He gets completely mauled by a bunch of, like, devil rabbits or something. I can't remember a more gruesome death he's had, other than maybe Belgis, but he didn't really die from that. He was just tortured. I don't know, that, that, that really disturbed me, what, what happened to him. Just the idea of all these, like, fucking creatures just gnawing at you. Because I'm assuming he felt, like, every bit of it as well. I mean, when he woke up, when he came back from that death, he was bashing his head against the floor. So, yeah, it definitely traumatized him. And then everything that happened with Echidna, uh, I am surprised it didn't cry, because I was very emotional. Um, I feel really happy that he finally was able to tell somebody that he returns by death, because he really needed that off his chest. I really hope that Echidna becomes some sort of ally for him. I don't... Uh, I, I want to say she's not evil. At least I hope she's not. I'm actually really liking her character, so I really hope she's not evil. But no matter what, it is really good that Subaru is getting this off his chest. She did mention that she has been watching him this whole time. So, yeah, he has somebody that's actually aware of what's happening to him, which is good. I'm also interested to know what the second trial is, because I know he's going to have to do the second trial after this as well. So, I guess we'll see. But yeah, really good episode. We learned a lot. A lot happens, and I am really excited to see where the season goes. It's, it's shaping up to be a really good season, actually. I'm really excited. But with that, I've been Jeremy Techno, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which is probably going to be my next reaction to ReZero. See you guys then.